Hi, I'm Mark Breeswell. Welcome to Off the Wall. Today I'm going to be talking about an article just uh, ran across uh, the other day by Felicia Delta. And it says, Dear Women's Ministry, stop telling me I'm beautiful. Now, to me, this, uh, this article hits a very important chord. And uh, I could probably be summarized in one phrase that she shares, and it's this. She says, if I judge Christianity by its women's conferences, I'd be led to believe that the Bible is no more than a series of compliments from God to man. And uh, again, there's nothing wrong with encouraging. There's nothing wrong with exhorting. There's nothing wrong with telling people they're loved. But what she says is, listen, this is not a cure for the nature that I struggle with for the sin nature. It is not a cure for what comes out of that sin nature in the way of fear and guilt and shame. And she's correct, she's absolutely right. She says, she says, the blood of Adam is flowing in my veins. And so this is the, this is the problem we're dealing with here. And it has to do with our perception of the gospel, our perception of the knowledge of God, our perception of what the love of God is coming primarily initially to do, especially in our lives. So let me share a couple of scriptures. One is Romans. It says that the goodness of God leads us to repentance. The reason the goodness of God leads us to repentance is because it's like this. It's if you have something, if you, you, you're, you have a friend who plays hockey and you say, man, he's great. He's the best. And then all of a sudden you go to an NHL game. You never even knew there was such a thing as a National Hockey League. You go and you see these amazing professionals. You're thinking, Okay, my, my perspective of good has suddenly changed. I've, I've added a few tiers to the top. So now good is a relative term. Good, this good that I previously would have said this is the best or good, suddenly decreases in value. When we become exposed to the goodness of God, repentance happens because what we previously thought to be good is now no longer good. And our hearts shift and turn. Repentance is a turning. It's a turning away from one thing and toward another. When you, when you become aware of how, just how good God is, when you realize that His goodness is above, uh, as high as the heavens are above the earth, His ways are that high, but so is His goodness as compared to what you can know from yourself. So the goodness of God leads us to repentance. And that's essentially what uh, Paul is saying in Romans uh, 1, 16 and 17 when he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, uh, for it is the power of God to salvation. So the, the, gospel is the, the gospel causes salvation to happen. Why? Because he's, his next phrase says, for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. We'll leave the faith to faith part because that has to do with the incremental part of our future journey. But essentially this, the gospel is meant to produce a manifestation of the righteousness of God. It meant, it's the time when the goodness of God is revealed so that you can have that shift. So you can shift away from one thing and on to another. The righteousness of God makes the righteousness of man appear paltry, appear lowly, appear decrepit. And this is the essence of what needs to happen is, is we are drinking out of one nature when we should be drinking out of another nature and the Bible talks about like wells or you know there's a pure well and there's this decaying cistern that we're always drinking out of and saying listen shift over to this one but in your heart you can't do that if you think this one still has value if you still there's think there's something good in this then you keep pulling from that it's it's not conscious it's unconscious it's a hard thing that happens and so what God is trying to do is to get you to abandon your own well. He's trying to get you to say, man, that, that building of mine, that uh, edifice, that structure of righteousness that I've tried to create is decrepit. It's condemned and a coat of paint, another coat of paint, another conference where they tell me, man, look at that, let's cover that up. The decay will continue to penetrate that thin veneer of goodness and keep painting on there because you need a change of nature. You need a shift from the new nature to the new nature you've been given away from the old nature. And that is the essence of repentance. That is the essence of the revealing, the purpose for the revealing of the goodness of God. And that is the heart of Christianity.